In this video, we're going to be looking at a Bible, or actually a couple of Bibles, from Humble Lamb. It is a Bible production company that has a very unique ministry, and I think what you're going to see in this video is that they produce very unique Bibles, Bibles that are a little different than what you see in a lot of other Bible productions. You can see right off the bat with the box, they have a very unique look to them. And I have two that I acquired here. One is green and one is red, but they are both uh, a paste down construction. They do also have edge lined construction available. I believe the edge line Bibles are around $220 on the website. These paste down editions are about $130 right now. So just looking at the box, you can see uh, very, very nicely done. It is a two-piece box, has that nice design on the front in gold. The side there gives the information about the Bible. And then on the bottom, you have the Humble Lamb logo and website. And the Bible will come wrapped in these two pieces of paper. And they also have a card that comes with the Bible that tells you a little bit about what they are trying to do as a company and some information there. So very nicely done. You see this type of thing a lot with uh, premium quality Bibles, and that's really what they're going for here. Their website does talk about how they want to give, uh, I think it says, beautiful presentations of God's word. They also want to do it in a way that is very fair and equitable to all of the people that are involved in the process of making these Bibles. So as I said, these are the paste down construction Bibles that we're looking at, not the edge line. So I can't really speak to all the details of the edge line Bibles because I did not acquire any but I'm sure there will be reviews on those. But if you wanted to get a look at these paste down editions and just get an overall feel for this specific Bible, this video will uh, give you a, a look and some of my thoughts. I will say that they do have um, the KJV available. I think that edition is called the KJV Lion. Originally there was the Humble Lamb NKJV these are also NKJV Bibles we're looking at, and presently the edition that we're looking at is called the Shepherd, and you saw that on the box. The paste down construction Bibles here do have this printing on the spine and some tooled ribs. I really like the look of the spine here. On the bottom is the Humble Lamb logo. So very nicely printed there. Nothing on the front cover as far as printing, but that gives you a look at the goat skin. It's a very nice uh, goat skin in terms of its looks. Very uniform green pattern that you see there. It is perimeter stitched. I will say that um, it, uh, I noticed kind of, kind of comes up a little bit when it's laying uh, on the table. Uh, it seems like a little bit of a thin piece of leather it reminds me a lot of what you see in other paste down Bibles, um, even with true tone in terms of kind of the overall feel of it. However, it is real leather, and I think it's uh, very nice leather. The inside on this one is a black paste down liner. I love this red color scheme. If you like red, you'll really like this Bible because it's a lot of red. Even the three ribbons here are in that nice bright red color and then under the gold gilt here you also have red art gilt so very nice color scheme and the cover here as you can see does not have a lot of yap on it so that text block really goes right up close to the edge of the cover there and that's not necessarily a bad thing not a lot of protection for the pages I suppose it might be better for the cover to be a little bit bigger, but it certainly 
fits nicely on the text block and everything looks nice and centered. I will show you more of the inside of the Bible, but I want to show you the other color that I have. I think this is really fitting as we get close to Christmas here. We have a green and a red Bible here. So doesn't this make you feel festive looking at these two colors? But if you think that red color scheme is really nice, I think that this Bible really has something special about it, just the uniqueness of it. It has a very similar kind of goat skin, but this is green. Again, has the perimeter stitching there. Similar spine, really the same spine on both of these Bibles. It tells what kind of goat skin, I forgot to mention that. It's Mauritian, I guess is how you pronounce that. And this one has brown ribbons, angle cut. So that's kind of unique. One thing I really like about this one, that kind of surprised me, it's just a little thing, but I like the liner on this a lot. It, uh, it's still that vinyl paste down liner, but it kind of has a marbled pattern to it a little bit. It's not just a plain brown. It almost looks like a, kind of a leather look to it. It's clearly not leather, but I do like the color scheme. And I think it goes really nicely with the green cover. So brown and green, you see as the color scheme there, but the page edges is what makes this Bible really unique. And so when you get to the edge there, you see it has an image imprinted in the gold, the image of Jesus as shepherd with the sheep. And when you open this Bible, that image really comes out starkly. So that is a very unique thing. As I said, these Bibles are unique. And in this particular edition, you have that I forget what they call this printing here on the side, but it is very unique in that it actually has an image on the side. So if you like visual things in your Bible, I think you'll really like these Bibles being put out by Humble Lamb. Another thing they have here is artwork throughout. And that I remember being in the original Humble Lamb NKJV, but it's also in this Bible. Actually, I think the design is very, very similar to the original. There are some other unique things about this one. You'll see some blue highlights here. And also on the references on the side, you have some blue highlights. So it's a blue and black text scheme. And it's interesting when you get into the New Testament, the words of Christ are actually printed in blue, going along with that blue and black color scheme. Here's another example of a picture that's in the Bible. And one thing I will say about the paper is it's really unique paper. Um, it doesn't feel like a lot of other paper that I've felt in Bibles, but it does have pretty nice opacity to it. It has a little bit more of maybe a, a coarse texture to it. Not extremely coarse though. I think it's definitely better quality paper in terms of its feel and opacity than what I remember in the original Humble Lamb Bible, especially in, in terms of how the Bible paper picks up the print. I think it really comes out nicely on this paper. You can see there's images on the back, but the text still stands out very nicely. So it's a neat format. It's single column with references on the outside. Reminds me a little bit of a clarion from Cambridge, except it's a, a larger footprint. Good line spacing between the lines. I think that's really nice. It's not a huge font, but with that nice line spacing and clear printing, I think actually it's, it's you know, really good. Has a nice look, but quite easy to read as well. In the poetry sections, you do have stanza settings. You can see it looks like it's line matched. And again, that paper has pretty good opacity to it. Even though there is some show through, I really don't think it is highly distracting or hard on the eyes. At the front of these Bibles, you have a cardstock page here. 
This is the presentation page, just blank, really, with a little design there. And then you have your title pages. The copyright information here. So it says it's typeset in a nine-point Milo serif, and it's printed and bound in China. And then it also says here, Thank you for making a difference. For every Bible you purchase, Humble Lamb will give a new budget Bible to someone in need. To learn more, visit HumbleLamb.com. So that's something nice that I think they've been doing from the beginning with their Bibles. Very ministry-oriented. Really like that. They have a table of contents. Here's the preface to the New King James Version. Old Testament title page. Has a really nice look to it. Not only great for reading, the cross-references are good for study. And then also, again, you have all that nice artwork in there. Beautiful artwork that really, for, for people who are just more inclined to be um, impacted by visual things, I think that that's really stimulating to them in, um, in their devotional life, in their time with the Lord to have those pieces of art. And then we have the New Testament. Here's the New Testament title page. And again, you will see when we get to Jesus speaking that the words of Christ are in blueprint. The blueprint is definitely very readable. I think, um, you know, traditionally pens are either blue ink or black ink uh, because it's a pretty high contrast color. So that's good news. People that maybe aren't fond of red print because it's hard for them to read, the blueprint for the words of Christ might be easier for a lot of people to read than red. I think there would tend to be more print uniformity with blue ink too than red ink. I personally don't have strong feelings about what color. I know a lot of people even prefer black text for the words of Christ. But blue is an interesting option that I think a lot of people will really like. It does make the words of Christ stand out. So a few more images in the back of the Bible. And then afterward, we have a concordance for the New King James Version. And again, you do have the uh, blue highlights for the word entries and also the letters. And after your concordance, you have one more sheet of blank Bible paper, and then your maps. The maps are printed on a slightly glossy cardstock. And they have a little bit of a duller color scheme than maybe the Zondervan Bibles. But I, one thing I do like about these, they're very uh, clear. They don't have like too much stuff packed in there, but they do even have some topography that you see some texture there of the landscape. So I think that's actually a really nice feature. So that's an interesting look at the maps there. And then after the maps, you have one more piece of cardstock and then your end sheet and liner. So overall, I'm really impressed. For $130, I think that you have something that's very, as I said, unique. It's a lot of very special features, but also quite well made. I think these will last. And they're printed very nicely on paper that, again, isn't quite like any paper I've felt in other Bibles, but it, it seems pretty nice to me overall. The one quality control thing I have uh, noticed is actually with this red Bible, I did see kind of a dark spot here and on the back, some little dark, very um, hard to notice, but they are there, little, little spots that are a little bit darker. But overall, a very well put together, excellent presentation in these Bibles. I can tell they put a lot of thought and care into this. And really, they've managed to put out uh, some unique good quality Bibles at 
a pretty decent price overall. It'll be interesting to see other people's reviews on the Edgeline Bibles, but that gives you a look at some paste down examples of the Humble Lamb Shepherd Bible in the New King James Version. If you have any questions or comments about these Bibles, I'd love to see that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking a look at these with me from a fresh perspective.